So my name is Justus Hammer. Um, I'm. Uh, oops, I'm sorry. I'll do that again, probably. Um, but you can call me Justice or Jay. That's all fine. Just uh, don't call me useless. I get that sometimes. Um, if Jared said he's gonna, he swayed a little bit from you know talking about university and what's gonna help you. I'm uh, going way beyond that. Um, the, the word university is gonna be in there a little bit. But um, what I'm trying to do is uh, I'll tell you a little bit what I've done the last couple of years and. And really, I can't believe it's been five years only um, that I've been sitting where you guys are sitting, um, finishing my master's. And um, since then, you know, five years just went like this. And the only thing I can tell you after, um, the, the master's is a great, great time. University is a great time. Um, the time after that, if you're passionate about what you're doing, you know, it, it's only getting better, right? All right, so what I um, thought when they asked me to talk about this um, is I'll run you quickly through what I've done the last couple of years, so probably 10 years or 12 years. I'm pretty old. Um, I'm, I'm 35 already. I'm turning 35 soon. I don't want to think about it. And, um, and, I'll, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about the things that I've learned along the way, and I'll tell you a little bit about the things that I've done wrong, because I've done a couple of things wrong. Um, so what I've been up to. Uh, this is me looking terrible. Um, when I was about 19 years old, um, I was trying to become uh, Germany's next basketball superstar. Uh, didn't quite work out. Um, Dirk Nowitzki, if I, some people might know, and I played with him back then, but he got a bit, lot better than me. I realized, okay, basketball is not um, where I'm going to earn my money for the rest of my life. So I went to Ludwig uh, Maximilian University in Munich and did a master's of um, economics, macroeconomics. I then, um, well there's actually one missing, I then started an own, my own company which was a um, consultancy company for um, mobile. So that's about 10 years ago, it sounds like a great idea now, um, but back then companies weren't quite ready to do that and when we tried to sell them consultancy programs on how they're going to they get their um, sales force and, and, um, and well, their workforce really uh, mobile, they looked at us and didn't quite understand what we're, looking at, what we're talking about. So we had a bit of success, but didn't, didn't earn enough money to actually pay my bills. So I started working for a company called Go Yellow, which was um, an <coughs> online Yellow Pages company in Germany. Um, the one thing I learned there is how not to do things. Um, we tried to take an offline model and put it into online, and basically applied the same rules that we thought we know from offline to online, and miserably failed. Um, so. Failing is a big part of success, I think, and um, I'm very glad that it wasn't my company. Um, I just worked for them, and along the way, I picked up what you can do wrong. So, after that, um, my girlfriend, well, ex girlfriend back, back then, um, um, finished university, and we thought that's a great chance for us to actually maybe go somewhere else. I was, I was in Germany for most of my life, I played in different, country, uh, different cities in Germany, so I've been around Germany but not really lived in another country. I've traveled a lot, but um, so we said, okay, great idea, let's go somewhere else. I started a master of um, commerce here in, um, in information technologies here at Macquarie University, uh, which was exactly the skill that I wanted to pick up at that, st at that stage. I was good in online marketing, and I'll tell you a bit more about that, um, but I wanted to get some more knowledge in, in um, the development side of things. So went to Macquarie, um, Macquarie, I can't say Macquarie, <laughs> Macquarie University, yeah, yeah, and um, and uh, did my masters, but at the same time started working for a company called Gepros, which is still around. It's a shopping comparison site, um, and um, I then got an offer from to work for Google, but um, said no to that offer and started a company called Spritz. Um, Spritz. Uh, um, group buying stuff, still around. I'm not working for them anymore. Um, I finished up just about nine months ago. Um, we started a company in 2010, got it up to over 100 employees and about $60 million in revenue, uh, yearly revenue, and sold it to Yahoo. Um, so Yahoo um, 7 here in Australia. Worked for them for the next two years and then um, things changed and they had other ideas of what to do with the companies than we had, so we passed ways and in very good faith. And um, yeah, so it sounds a bit like you know, my, my big plan taking over the world um, from the very beginning. The reality is I never had one. Um, there's, uh, you know, I, I 
I always, when I think about it back, um, I'm always thinking like, was it just luck, maybe? Um, you know, the, the things, how they came into place, and, and um, well, I, I hope it wasn't just luck, because I'm not selling myself really well, it's just luck, right? So I, I sat down and really thought about what are the things that helped me in that time, and um, what are the things that maybe you guys can pick up along the way as well, um, to be successful in your professional life or university life, whatever it is. And what I came up with is um, follow your passion, be flexible, and network, network, network. So if we think about follow your passion, I think that's what I've always done um, through my life, um, whether it was basketball. You know, I was very, very passionate about basketball. I'm not your traditional entrepreneur. I've never sold orange juice out of my front yard or... Um, or sold music, music tapes to, to my um, friends at school. I was sporty, right? I was, I was doing sport and that's, that was, that's what I was good at. So I did that to the point where I thought, okay, I can't get it any further. And then flexible comes into play. You've got you've to, whenever there's a chance um, to change lanes and to go somewhere else, and you can still follow your passion, you know, that might not be a bad thing to do. So that's what I did. I went to university. Um, did my master of economics first, which was really um, well, it was macroeconomics. So that's a very, very you know, numbers-driven um, um, study, and I was good in numbers. So that's what I knew. I was good in um, theoretical um, applying theories uh, and making them work with numbers. So I did that. Then when I went to my first job at Go Yellow, for example, I started as a um, I started as a um, regulatory council, so something completely different. But it was in the industry that I wanted to go in. So it was the online industry, but I started as a regulatory council, which was you know, deregulation in Germany. It was really, I was like a lawyer. Um, I never wanted to become a lawyer, but um, it was getting me into the right industry, and that gives me back to flexible. Right? So there's always a couple of things, I think, um, if, you are, if you follow your passions and you're flexible enough, um, things are going to come to you, right? And um, network, network, network. I think that's that's a major part for me. Whenever you can build your network, whenever you can go to events like this and speak to people, you know, try to do it. Try to stay in contact with them. You never know when you meet them again. Um, I've got a whole lot of people that in my network that I probably forgot about, but I've got them somewhere on LinkedIn, and I can find them. And if somebody comes up in that area, um, it's in. in, in in, um, invaluable how, how, um, what you can do with your network. All the jobs that I got from Go Yellow to Get Price to any company that I'm doing now is basically coming out of my network. And you know, you build your network from wherever you are. One, one, one uh, base is definitely university um, where, where you start building up your network. Um, am I running out of time? Um, it's, it's about how you approach a job. I think that's, that's kind of the combination of the three things that I've talked about, about before. If you are passionate and you're flexible um, and you use your network, um, you never just do a job, right? So if you're proud of what you actually deliver, no matter what you do, you're going to have chances in, in the job that you're doing and the university that you're at. Um, it's going to get you somewhere. So um, if you can learn something, um, that's what I'm looking in, into all my jobs now, all the things that I'm doing now. I'm trying to learn something every day. Um, that keeps me passionate about what I'm doing. Um, if I can learn something, then I'm still thinking I'm doing something you know, that, get, that gets me forward. Show pride in what you do, that's the same thing. I think um, I'm, I'm, pride, I'm quite competitive, um, probably coming out of my sports. Um, so you know, whenever, whenever I do a business, I try to have a co-founder. Um, because I want to be better than him and we're kind of all working, working um, not against each other but we're trying to get the best out of each other. And um, just a little thing, what, what do you think when you see this? Nike. Nike? Somebody who thinks just do it? Okay, right, so just do it. Um, whenever I see um, entrepreneurs at the moment, uh, and I see a lot of them, uh, if you have an idea that it's probably not about the idea. Whenever I value, value businesses and it's really startups at the very, very, very best, they've just started, they've got an idea, I'm looking much more at the, at the team and, and whether I think that they can do something than at the idea. Um, you know, there's, there's, a, 
there's the, the word, there's a bit, bit, of, bit of a buzzword at the moment in the US which is called pivot. And the pivot means, you know, you run a business, you start a business, you've got this great idea, and then you, you, you realize, ah, it's a shit idea, it doesn't work. But I've learned enough on, along the way of doing it to actually change the business model, pivot into another direction and come up with a business that actually works. Um, so, you know, don't, if, if that's what you want to do, um, just go out and do it. Right team is what's going to uh, win. win. So, um, I've talked long enough, I think. Um, if you have any more questions, um, you can send me an email or just hit me up on LinkedIn or talk to me afterwards when we have some drinks. And I'm happy to answer any more questions. Thanks. Thank you.